So, so I started Rags to Reasonable because not too long ago, three years ago, I was in. In a situation I think a lot of artists are where money was a huge stress, you know. I was making actually a decent living, making a young artist salary, but it still kind of doesn't, it didn't seem to cover the bases, you know. Money just kind of disappeared. <laughs> Personal finance is especially important for people that don't have a lot, you know. People who need to learn how to save better, or save more efficiently, to spend more efficiently, to make a lot out of a little. And I think that that's why I started this thing. I started it for me three years ago, for the resource that I kind of wish that I had. You know, everybody imagines that singers are these, like, you're burning your plays to heat your apartment, and, you know, you don't have anything, and you shouldn't have anything, because you're committing your life to something you love, and that's its reward. It's not what the life is, but that's what we're selling. And so I think a lot of artists, and I did this, you use it as an excuse. You use it as an excuse, you say, well, this is what art is, this is what an artist is, and therefore I don't have to get better at money. I don't have to get better at my finances because, like, it's not about the money. That's selling out, you know? What audition wouldn't be better if you could just stand there and be like, you know what, this job would be great, but I don't need it. I don't need it to live, you know? Or you could pick the job that you want instead of having to pick, you know, every job because you just need the money. And, like, the realities are is that you're going to have to do that sometimes, you know? It's like, you don't get to be picky and choosy all the time, but, like, you can increase the factor of picky and choosiness, maybe not pick the super soul-destroying jobs, you know, maybe trying to avoid a few of those, maintain a little bit of that, you know, soul that you used to have. <laughs> you are a small business owner. That's how you have to think of yourself, because, not because it's semantics, but because it's true. And artistic side, that's your product. It's a super important part of it, but it's not the whole thing. Schools need to get ahead of this. You know, they need, to, they need to look at partnerships between their business programs. They need to look at bringing in people to talk about the business of singing. That's not just how you handle an audition and how you work a room. That's not just the business of singing. You know? My blog is about how to make a living in the arts. It's about freelancing. It's about all these things. But making a life in the arts is so much bigger than that. Artists are better able to create when they're happy and healthy. You know, there is a, a school of thought that that says that, you know, misery and desperation create great art. And, and obviously history has shown that that's true in some cases. But I know in my case, um, I create best when I feel stable and I feel happy and I feel healthy and I feel able to concentrate on it, you know. And, um, and so I guess it's a resource for those kind of artists, you know.